You want to export hair from Blender to Unreal Engine? Make sure your hair simulation is baked. Now we need to export the object and hair separately. Select the object and export it as an FBX file. Make sure the armature and mesh is selected. If you have an animation, check Bake Animation. Now go to the Hair Settings and Tron of Show Emitter in the Render and Viewport display. Only the hair should be visible now. Export this as an Alembic file. Make sure the scale is 100 and the frames are correct. Deselect Instancing and Costume Properties. Make sure you select Visible and Selected Objects only. This is really important and change the Use Settings 4 to Viewport. The rest you can deselect but export the hair particle. Now let's jump into Unreal. First, go to Edit and select Plugins. Type in Groom and install the first two plugins. Now you can right-click your content browser and press Import. Select the FBX file we created. Make sure Skeletal Mesh is ticked and also import Animation if you have one. After it's imported, import the Alembic file. The Window Groom importer should pop up after selecting the file. If this is not the case, you exported the file wrong from Blender. Change the rotation and scale to the one that is shown. If you have an animation, select Import Groom Cache. If it's done loading, drag the actor into the scene. On the right side, under Actor, create a blueprint. A new window should pop up. Press Add and type in Groom. Once added, go to the right side and under Groom Assets, select the one shown. The hair is now imported already. If you want to change the look, change some settings here. For the animation, go to Groom Cache and select the underscore strands underscore cache file. Now the animation is already played in the Blueprint. To see it in the normal editor, add a new level sequence. Open it and select the Blueprint we created. If you press the plus button now, you can select Groom Cache. Finally, you can scroll through the timeline and see your animation. To change the color, we need to create a new material. Double-click on it and change the shading model to hair. Also search for Used with Hair Strands option and activate it. Now, add a constant 4 vector node and connect it to the base color. There, you can change your color. In the blueprint editor of your hair, you can drag your newly created material into the material slot. You are able to change the color of your hair now.